Hey guys, uh, Bobby Jean here. I'm in a hotel. Um, got myself into uh, somewhat of a situation here. Um, I was filming and editing uh, this week's video, as usual, and, and uh, you know, product review and giveaway. And uh, things took a turn. Things took a strange turn, and that would be putting it lightly. Uh, but you can watch the video and decide for yourself. Um, long story short, I managed to get my laptop and this camera out of my house and finish up this video. Now I need to decide what I'm going to do with myself. I don't know if I can go back home. Hey, it's good to see you back. Glad you're here. If you haven't been here before, I'm Bobby G. So as you know, if you've been watching over the past few months, I've really been trying to press your interest in protecting yourselves in these uncertain times. This is the Century One camera from Lime Vision. This is one camera of many that they showcase on their website. This is their website, and this is, you can see the product line of every type of camera. Very, really cool cameras. They got cameras here that are motorized, that can rotate 360 degrees while you're away from home. You can do a complete overall scan of the interior of your home or the outside of your home with their cameras. I have other YouTube creator friends of mine, such as Alicia over uh, at MATV who also did a video review of some of their product and very pleased with the quality and the product itself. This particular camera is a fixed position camera but it's got a really nice wide field of view and you can bend it and pose it in whatever position you prefer to get the most coverage out of whatever you are trying to cover. $27. Now what I like about this thing is super light, it's super small, you hook it up quick, you stick it where you need it to be, wherever you want it to be in the house and uh, away you go. You drive down the road, you go to work, and you pull up the app and there is your live shot inside your house. All of those features, $27, it's fantastic. So let's take a look. So the camera arrived in a small package, undamaged. I really like the size and simplicity of the parts inside. It comes with the power plug, power charging cord, and mounting hardware. Also the manual and other documentation. Now obviously since this does come with a power cord, you will need to mount it somewhere where you have access to an outlet. You can record your video clips to the cloud or to this micro SD card. It's not included, so I'm inserting a 64 gigabyte micro SD card because I won't be using a cloud service for testing purposes. Insert the power plug into a wall outlet and then plug the cord into the camera. You'll need to go online and download the app. Download either iOS or Android. After the camera boots up, it lets you know it's ready to connect. Please config your camera by AP hotspot or scanning code. Enter the name and password for your 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi connection. For the purposes of this review, I'm going to install it right here on my TV console, where it is in close proximity to a wall outlet and right next to the Wi-Fi router. And voila, we have a live picture of my living room on my cell phone. Here it would list all of the cameras that you have linked to your phone. You can touch the screenshot of the still image of the camera you would like to see the live view of. Here's an image of the standard definition view, and here I am demonstrating the refresh rate. Here you can see there's some lag between what is captured by the camera and what reaches your phone through Wi-Fi, which is consistent with most Wi-Fi operated devices. How about a sound check? Hey, how are you? Testing. Testing the mic. Pressing this microphone icon at the bottom of the app, you will be able to transmit your voice over the speaker of the camera. And here you can talk. And here 
here, you can talk to whoever's in the house. Check on your pets. Check on your pets. On your pets. Here you can change the image quality from SD720 to HD1080. There is a pleasant difference between SD and HD. Now let's test the lag while transmitting a HD signal. Not too much blur, that's not bad at all. Touch this icon and we go to full screen where you get a very clear picture of your live shot. And there's your live shot, full HD. Pressing the center button here where it says free is where you can display your options in regard to subscribing to a cloud service. You can also link this to Alexis or other smart speakers you may have in your home. And if you have any issues, there's access to plenty of troubleshooting and online support. One of the first things you may ask yourself is where in the house do I want to put this device? Where's the best vantage point to get the best field of view, the best overall uh, points of interest that I want this thing to monitor while I'm away. It's best to put this up at a higher vantage point and not so inconspicuous. Just simply having one of these cameras in place in visual range is a visual deterrent for any type of criminal activity that might be about to take place. So you put that up in a, con in a conspicuous place that also has a great field of view of the area that you want to cover, like the entrance door, um, a safe or a vault, or the kids room or whatever. Now, if you are going to record onto the micro SD card instead of the cloud, that would be one of the times that you would hide the camera, you know, through a venting system or behind some speaker screening or something like that so they can't see where the camera is and then put signs that they are under camera surveillance. Now, if you want this camera to be a visual deterrent of any type of criminal activity and you want it to be seen, but you will most, unless it's really high up there and they can't get to it, you're gonna wanna have video evidence uploaded to the cloud as it records it. That way, if somebody happens to get up there and is able to snatch that camera down and run off with that in the SD card, you still have record of what it recorded, preserved on the cloud. Okay, so what we're gonna do next, car keys. I've got the camera set up here. And as you can see, the camera is set up here on the kitchen countertop. We've got a picture there of the living room, so we see it in that direction. I've got the ceiling fan on so that we can see the motion that this image that we're seeing is actually a live recording after we leave. I've also got a camera that's going to be filming the camera, filming the interior of the house. That way we can test the audio to make sure that it is nice and loud and coming through while we are away. Okay, here we are, mobile, away from the house, on the road, while I pulled off. Now we have a live shot of what's going on back home while we are away from the house. Let's give the microphone a test here. Testing one, two, one, two, one, one, two, 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 two check. Two, two, check, check, mine, check. Okay, that should be going over. Let's go back and check it out.
Okay, so I think that went pretty good. I'll review the footage from that uh, later on. We're losing daylight and uh, I want to get ready for the final test of the camera here. We're going to check the smart infrared night vision. And what it means by smart is just that it's automatically going to come on when it gets dark enough and then turn itself back off automatically when it's bright enough where you don't need it. Things I'm going to be looking for with the night vision, I want to see how far out the infrared lighting on there is going to give us a visibility. How far out, the, usually it's about 20-25 feet on bigger systems, it's much further than that. But on your home systems, it's usually, you know, the size of a room and maybe a little bit beyond that. And then also the notification, the triggering of either motion or sound. So we're gonna check all that out tonight. It's gonna be a long night because I'm gonna set the alarm and move the camera around throughout the night and uh, we'll see how well it does. <laughs> okay, so gonna watch TV for a little bit, hang out and eventually go to bed. We'll set the alarm, move the camera again during the night and uh, see how it goes. All right, so here we are in chill mode camera set up it seems to be working okay it seems to be glitching occasionally it's like jumps back a few frames or forward a few frames not sure what's going on there right there I thought I heard something all right so I guess I'll see you guys in the morning It's morning. I haven't slept. Really, 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 really bad dreams. I couldn't tell if I was asleep or awake, dreaming, or was it real? Loud pain. And I never used more than that one blanket. You hear that? I know I'm not crazy. So after I got up, I took the SD card out of the camera and I loaded it up into the computer. I started going over the videos from last night. I can't wrap my head around what I'm looking at. I'm gonna have you look at them. Maybe you can help me out. Living room, 1.14 in the morning, watch the left side. I got it to move the camera pointing down the hallway. I'll skip forward. Now the final move into the bedroom, looking down the hall.
What the hell is this in my house? the windows. I'm gonna pack a bag. Make a run for it. Wishing you a safe and spooktacular Halloween. Thanks for watching.